On April the 4th, 1949, so nearly 70 years ago, since I'm uh, recording this video on January the 3rd, 2019, the North Atlantic Treaty was signed, <coughs> creating the United States-led Western, uh, various Western democracies, military alliance known as the NATO or the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Um, Currently, it has 29 member states. Um, besides, it has um, <clears throat> three aspiring members, I'm sorry, four aspiring members, Bosnia and Herzegovina in the Balkans region of uh, southeastern Europe, then uh, Macedonia also in the Balkans region of uh, southeastern Europe, the Ukraine in Eastern Europe, and then Georgia <clears throat> in the Caucasus region, one of the conventional boundaries between uh, Europe and Asia. An additional 21 countries participate in NATO's Partnership for Peace program, with 15 other countries involved in institutionalized dialogue programs. The combined military spending of all NATO members constitutes over 70% of the global total, and members have committed to reach or maintain defense spending of at least 2% of gross domestic product by 2024. So, what are the member states of NATO today? In early January 2019. Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Iceland, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Britain, the United States, those who joined the alliance on August the 24th, 1949. And Iceland is the sole member state that does not have its own standing army joined on the condition that it would not be expected to establish one. France temporarily withdrew from the Integrated Military Command in 1966 to pursue an independent defense system, at least uh, according to some critics and historians, probably because the French President uh, General Charles de Gaulle wanted to show that France would not be a slavish um, proponent of the British-American alliance but that France would like to pursue a more independent and mediating um, foreign policy. It established fairly close relations with a number of um, communist countries, including Romania, with which, of course, it is partly related uh, ethnically and uh, linguistically. However, uh, France returned to full participation in 2009. And Denmark's NATO membership includes the Faroe Islands and Greenland, both of which are self-governing territories. The first expansion <clears throat> occurred on February the 18th, 1952, when ironically Greece and Turkey, two uh, countries that have had tense relations and which almost uh, were on the brink of war sometime in the 1980s, <clears throat> over territorial waters in the Aegean Sea, they uh, joined Turkey, I'm sorry, they joined the NATO, although Greece temporarily uh, withdrew its forces from NATO's military command structure <clears throat> from 1974 to 1980, as a result of Greco-Turkish tensions following the 1974 Turkish invasion of Cyprus. On May the 6th, 1955, the Federal Republic of Germany, then informally known as West Germany, joined the alliance. And then when, in October 1990, uh, the two Germanys were re uh, reunited, uh, NATO automatically expanded east to include the former East Germany. On May the 30th, 1982, uh, Spain joined uh, NATO Then, 
on March the 12th, 1999, uh, the Czech Republic or Czechia, Hungary and Poland joined the NATO. On March the 29th, 19, uh, I'm sorry, March the 29th, 2004, uh, seven new countries joined the NATO, Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, Slovakia and Slovenia. So located in northern, uh, eastern and southeastern Europe. On April the 1st, 2009, Albania and Croatia joined the NATO, both of them in the Balkans Peninsula <coughs> of southeastern Europe. And finally, on June the 5th, 2017, Montenegro, another small country in southeastern Europe, joined the NATO. Therefore, many European countries are already members of the NATO. But, for example, the following ones are not. Austria, Switzerland, Sweden, uh, Finland, well, Russia obviously is not. Uh, neither are Belarus, the Ukraine, Moldova, and so forth. Uh, however, of these countries, um, let's see, Partnership for Peace. The current members of the Partnership for Peace program include Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, uh, Russia, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, uh, the Ukraine, Uzbekistan, Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, Macedonia, Serbia, Austria, Finland, Ireland, Malta, um, Sweden and Switzerland. And, uh, well, the countries that are involved in the Partnership for Peace program are not technically totally neutral because they participate closely in uh, peace enforcing and peacekeeping operations uh, by the NATO. However, since they are not full members of the NATO, technically they are non-aligned countries, but no longer fully neutral. Switzerland, of course, has its very long tradition of neutrality in international relations. I think it only joined uh, the United Nations either in the 1990s or in the early years of this century. And while it has close relations with the European Union, and it's even a part of its passport-free Schengen zone, it is not a member of that um, organization either.